Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what tonic-clonic seizures are, symptoms of tonic-clonic seizures, what to do if someone is having a tonic-clonic seizure, and treatments for tonic-clonic seizures. Tonic-clonic seizures, formerly known as grand mal seizures, involve two phases, the tonic and clonic phase. Seeing someone have a tonic-clonic seizure can be very frightening, but the important thing is to remain calm and understand what is taking place. During the tonic phase, a person loses consciousness and can fall. Oxygen is forced out of the lungs, resulting in a person crying or moaning. The person may begin to foam at the mouth or bite their tongue. It is important to turn them on their side and not to put anything in their mouth. The clonic phase consists of jerky movements affecting the face, arms, and legs. After one to three minutes, the jerky motions will subside. When the body relaxes, some people may lose control of their bowel or bladder movements. They may release a big sigh and breathing returns to normal. After the seizure ends, the person may remain unconscious, looking like they are sleeping. Allow them to rest so they can slowly recover. They may appear sore or be upset due to having a seizure. Help them to remain calm. Some may not remember having the seizure or may experience memory loss. Some may have a headache or vomit after the seizure. If you witness someone have a tonic-clonic seizure, remain calm. Remove anything in the area that can cause injury. Do not restrain the person. Turn the person on their side and place a folded jacket or blanket under their head. Do not put anything in the person's mouth. It can lead to injury for the person and yourself. Remove any glasses or loosen any neckties around the neck. Time the seizure. Anything over five minutes, call for medical help. Check to see if they have a medic bracelet. A caregiver's number may be on it and they can assist until medical help arrives. Once a person regains consciousness, keep them calm as they recover. A physician may order an MRI to detect any scarring on the brain that can be causing the person to have seizures. An EEG may be ordered to help distinguish if seizures are taking place. Common medications that are used to treat tonic-clonic seizures are valproic acid, lamictatrine, levetiracetam, and topriamate. Nerve stimulation, the keto diet, and surgery are options for people who have drug-resistant epilepsy. To learn more about tonic-clonic seizures, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.